these exceptional individuals transcend time. Finally, I was born in the world. 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 Sengdeman neng mabri neng nilai bawa bawa di sukses saya anan sengdeman ini answer saya bay sukses is very easy very easy nde sukses agar lay nih agar lay mana ye pun segera nde this is all because of my parents nde mana ye kasih bu di ni di masa ni show nih dia Kebaya di kering geraza dengan bunga. Baik, biar nong aje di masa kering basi. Saya kering saya. Kebaya di kuku nak ke? Mani, parents are the first teacher. Mani, di mana di fene? Di ni kah sekebe kelas sebe mana? Inilah sekarang awalnya. E plus B plus because si bu A kurang bahasa B kurang higan nanti bung naya deh. Mani because si bu mau nangku ko B masih pernah ni kelas zaman nanti bung deng B. B ni kaini B B tiga nahan deng. B masih pani dari si. Kalau manusia zahir bay, jeng ma bla bla bu. One ko haya bu two bannya nang. Manusia kuna jeng buzi ker nangan si. Iya birat si tetar ada. Mana nang jeng Korikah supi balo, gak supi pula lah zebenah biji nunga zebe. Sehingga menpa menpa buji lang zebas sehingga haye. Ini kayu biye hendeng. Jepla neng one ko haye, jepla seneng two utang nangdu. Jepla neng biji seneng lange, jepla successes very easy hendeng mudek. Right, this is because of all my parents hendeng. Bima, fani dah risi biye, biwe jaja nak deng. Mana nak? Bini bima, fani biko. Sebut kelai mana nak ni bung dia ada. Nah, dah tu ker. Sejam tu. Sir, we would like to hear from you a few lines about yourself, your family and Suborno. So we would like to request him to please share some of his points with us. Namaskar. आवे बांग्लाई बोल बो क्या मौन शुभोनो जन्मग्रहण करे छे अप्रैल मासे 9 तेरे 2012 शाले न्यूयॉर्क के यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स तो 2014 शाले आमार स्त्री ओके पोरात चिलो वन प्लस वन इक्वल व्हाट and Shubhanna Uttur Chilo 1 plus 1 to the Dui Hoi Taole N plus N equal to what, Mom? Tar Ma Horat Kore Shikkhok Thike Chhatro Hoye Gelo She Bustha Par Chilo Na Otar Jawaab Ki Bebe Debe To Tar Ma Eta Ama Ke Jana Len Air Por Ami Ta Ke किसूटा चश्मा कोलों मामार मातो करे शिक्षते तो शे जोगन चार बच्चों हुए गलो तो शे तो खन आमा के पौराने शुरू करलो एयरपोर्ट एयरपोर्ट आमी बाध्य हुए आमा शिक्षक देर आश्रय नित हुए चलो आमार विभिन्न यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर देर कारण और प्रश्नों के लिए उत्तर आमी खुजे पाच चलो ना तो एक उन तो आपने रा शून्य लेन वो एक रा बहुत सोर आपने रा वो जो नाशिरबत कर बन नमस्कार
University. I'm so excited to be able to uh, speak to you all right now. And I am so honored that you have chosen to help me communicate math and science to you. So I love math and science very, de very dearly. And I hope that by the end of this session, you will love it too. So before, uh, I think this is an interactive session. So you, you will get to ask some questions uh, on the spot and I will answer them. But before uh, anything like that, I wanted to give a brief lecture about infinity and how math uh, isn't always going to fall into your hands. So uh, I guess let's start with that. Infinity is a very confusing number. Uh, some say it's not even a number. Some are confused by the concept. It's just something that you can't grasp. It's something that you can't pull into the real, oh, something you can't pull into the real world, no matter how f uh, hard you try. It's too, uh, way too far away for, uh, from anything your brain can comprehend. And so that makes it really weird to d work with. Uh, it's really just the concept of something too big to surpass. But I mean, can't you add one? Can't you add two? So there's a concept of different amounts of infinities, but we'll get to that later. So what does infinity really mean? Why do we use it? Why do we define things like it? Well, we don't just define it for fun. We don't define it uh, because we want it to. And we define it because it's a useful notion. Sometimes to describe the real world, we have to leave it. So. Infinity is an example of that, along with other examples like every irrational number, uh, examples like E, complex numbers, pi, the golden ratio, phi. Uh, negative numbers themselves are technically uh, are not a real concept, but these are the things that we have to pull into real, uh, pull out of real life in order to depict the real world. So uh, sometimes. Uh, I think I've he heard somewhere that you can't do math without complex numbers, but you'll run into notation issues everywhere. It's extremely hard. Sometimes we define things for convenience, not because they are actually a parallel to the real world. So math can be hard to imagine sometimes, but you don't always have to get a good grasp uh, or a good hold on what something is. Just to be able to work with the concept you don't have to fully understand exactly what you're working with. Because no one can truly pull the square root of minus one or something that's infinitely big into the real world. In fact, now we have a study, uh, now we have a study of infinities themselves. Well, not really. It's a sub, it's a sub, subtopic of set theory. Uh, it's what uh, people call cardinality which is essentially measuring the size of infinite sets. So, infinity is a very untangible concept. And sometimes we have to keep it that way. Sometimes we can't quite enter the, uh, we can't quite uh, stay within the real world when describing it. So, don't feel overwhelmed if you just can't get a grasp on what you're working with when it comes to math. You, uh, you sometimes have to rework your brain to get into the details. But once you understand the details and you've done the details, you can mostly gloss over them. But don't let this encourage you to totally ignore them. So uh, th that's all for me, I guess. Math isn't always going to be just a parallel to the real world. Math doesn't just always describe something in reality. Sometimes. Uh, we have to go a little further than that, and that's okay. So don't feel overwhelmed when trying to understand concepts like these. I guess that's all. So, great. This is an interaction round, so we have questions from the students. The questions shall be moderated by Christina. So we already have got the questions from the students. So, Prisina, please moderate the questions that have come from the students, one by one. Honorable Professor, so first will be from Jomdor College, Zakshan Narzari.
Okay. A very good evening to you, Professor. Thank you. I am Jackson Nazari, a student of Jomdur College Surabil, an undergraduate student. First of all, a very warm welcome to our Borderland. So here my question goes, what made you achieve such a great success? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's not what made me achieve great success. So, I don't know exactly how to answer that question. I'm not sure uh, what I would call success, but I mean, having fun doing math and science, uh, I guess that's something you can achieve by uh, simply, instead of memorizing things and uh, having a strict way of thinking, uh, try loosening your mind up. Uh, try allowing yourself to think uh, in different ways and look at math and science from a different perspective in order to be able uh, in order to uh, be able to flow with it, I guess, uh, more smoothly. I guess playing around with numbers and just some uh, manipulating numbers and variables is just something I have fun with uh, because I've learned the most optimal method of doing them and I can fully understand what I'm working with instead of just having scraps of knowledge and trying to work off of them. So instead of using limited materials, uh, I can uh, build my understanding uh, using s stuff that I already know concretely, fully. So uh, don't, try, uh, don't try rushing. Uh, don't try uh, understanding the next concept when you only have a half-baked understanding of the previous one. Otherwise, soon, uh, your understanding will all collapse, like a house of cards, I guess. So, uh, that's, I guess, how why I enjoy mathematics. I'm just trying to understand it uh, in the best way I can and connect it to my real world instead of uh, thinking it uh, as isolated from the real world. That's it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.